how I have all of this. First step is definitely gonna involve uh, going through all this and figuring out what's expired and uh, what's not. And then after I do that, I need to actually wipe down this cupboard because it is gross. Okay, let's get started. So right here is new. I don't know what size it is, but I'll have it linked down below. I think I'm gonna put my spelt flower in this one. And I also have a tall one that used to hold my spelt flower, but I feel like that's better for pasta or something. And then these guys over here, I think are really appropriate for flour and sugar. Just leftovers I have from my baking with friends video. I don't typically keep a lot of baking supplies on hand, so I feel like these are a good size. And then I needed a few more spice jars, and I really like these ones because they, they sit like this. A little bit of a flat edge that makes it sit on an angle so that when you spin it, it just kind of, my bad. I'm just gonna get transferring all this stuff. I also wiped down my little rack that goes in this shelf right here. And I also cleaned, what is it called? The Lacey Susan. My spices are probably gonna be the last thing I deal with just because I've got quite a bit to go through. So this is what it means to be living in darkness. results on the bottom shelf here I put all of my spices because uh, here's the stove so this is the spot closest to the stove which is great because when I'm cooking the spices are really accessible and having them on this lazy Susan is so convenient I'm liking these labels too especially for things like garlic powder and onion powder that visually look so identical they are a lifesaver for being able to find what you need quickly plus it's just a lot of fun. To the right, I've got some vinegar, balsamic vinegar, some vanilla extract, salt, coconut oil, my pastas, some spelt flour in the back, 
There's some more pasta in the upper right corner there that I don't want to open yet because I want to get through this first. On the second shelf, I have coffee. So this is Nescafe Espresso, uh, Calf Lib, we've got chocolate milk, I've got some apple cider vinegar. All of my beans are at the bottom of this metal shelf. I love these metal shelves or metal shelves like these because it just gives you a lot more room to play with. At the top I've got a lot of grab and go snacks, some chickpeas, some kind bars, some Laura bars. I've got tea bags, some random bags that I had opened. That's pretty much it for shelf two. And then the third shelf, the top shelf, is where I'm keeping all my baking supplies because this is the stuff that I need to be able to grab less often. So having it on the top shelf just makes sense. On these, I really wanted to make sure I put the date that I put these in the jar so that future Caitlin knows if they're old or not. I've got flour, sugar, icing sugar. I had an extra one of these, so I used it for cupcake supplies. That's where I just put the cupcake liners and some food coloring. And I've got, like I said previously, pastas, baking powder, some baking spices or ones I would typically use for baking pumpkin pie spice, ginger spice, nutmeg. And then at the back there, I've also got my French press. I really loved how this turned out. I still think I could use a little bit more organization. That corner right here could use a basket or something. And maybe I could use another basket here for all of those snacks. But for now, it's looking pretty great. Now I just gotta deal with cleaning up the rest of the kitchen. <laughs> Isn't that the case? You organize one part and then the other parts become a mess. If you like today's video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if you label the containers in your pantry. I will see you all very soon with a new video and until then, bye guys.